Alright, in this lecture presented by www.free-academy.com, we're going to cover the derivative of x to the third using the rigorous definition of the derivative formula, which, to remind you, looks something like this. It is the limit as h goes to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. So we're going to take our x plus h and we're going to plug it into our x to the third. We'll rewrite the limits. h goes to zero third minus x to the third. This is of course x plus h Again, remember, we're just using the parentheses and the f of x as a placeholder. So this is our setup. And now we're going to go through solving it. Uh, before we go any further, we're going to have to distribute out this term right here. Now, if you remember Pascal's triangle, you're going oh, that's not a good color. Um, this, all right. If you remember Pascal's triangle, you'll remember that it is a... Uh, x to the third plus 3x squared h plus 3x h plus h to the third. Remember, 1, 3, 3, 1 for your third line, your fourth line, 1, 3, 5 or something like that. All right, but um, just to be rigorous, I'm actually going to go through and distribute this out just in case you're a little new here. Uh, fast forward if uh, you don't need to see this. We're going to FOIL this out, x squared plus hx plus another hx, sorry, hx plus h squared. And that simplifies to x squared plus 2hx plus h squared, and that's all going to get multiplied by another x plus h. So I'm going to take the x, run it down the three terms, then move over and uh, use the h down the three different terms too. So x to the third plus 2hx squared plus h squared x. That's uh, distribute through, distributing through the x. Now we'll distribute out the h plus x squared h plus 2h squared x plus h to the third. Now we'll combine our like terms again. And this is uh, hx squared. And here's another hx squared. So this will give us x to the third plus 3hx squared. And uh, we have an h squared x, h squared x, plus 3h squared x, plus h to the third. All right, so that's exactly what we saw right up here. I'll give you another second to take a look at this, catch up, uh, pause it if you need to write this down for your notes, because I'm going to erase this, uh, place uh, the formula into our derivative equation, and then continue solving. Make some room here really quick. All right, now we're going to plug this in there. And we'll guess x to the third plus 3x squared h plus 3x h squared. I just noticed I made a mistake. A little typo right there. Plus h to the third. And this, of course, is minus. Actually, you know, I'll even switch the color on that. Minus x to the third over h. Now looking at this we can see that we can cancel our x to the thirds here and then we're going to have an h in every single term now so I'm also going to factor out one h term. h 3x squared plus 3x h plus h squared. 
and this is all still over h. Drawing one h out of every term, and now we can cancel these h's, getting h out of the denominator, which is ultimately our goal. So now, our limits as h goes to zero is 3x squared plus 3xh plus h squared. Now we'll put in a zero for our h's, 3x squared plus 3x times zero plus zero squared. And of course these two terms drop off our radar and our derivative of x to the third equals 3x squared.